So, at the end of last week, uh, I said that I was going to try to make portals, or at least be able to see through portals. And, hey, this is what we got. I mean, I've got another star system here with a bigger star. We've got a little moon. And this fancy doohickey here, which is my portal, you can see through to the other side. Shing. Um, whoop, didn't actually go through it that time. Okay, so it is not perfect yet, and I still need to figure out the best way to handle going through one of these. That's the thing I've definitely spent some time with. Got another portal over here. So kind of like this reveal if you go around and ah, oh, there's this, the stars behind you and yeah, I kind of played around with some of the other procedural generation um, for some of these uh, stars and planets. So yeah, there you go. if you go through it perfectly, um, it looks quite good. Um, yeah, so if we bring up the debug, um, you can see so. The main thing that took some time with this is there's two parts to this. There's the whole, this is where the camera center is at the ship. This is a perpendicular line across this portal. And then we cast out some rays to the edge of the screen. And then we actually walk around the edge of the screen in order to, um, yeah, in order to actually fill it out. And so you can get here where you've got like this edge, then this full edge and this. And this, this shape, then gets turned into a stencil. So I feel like I need to like put in what a stencil is. But stencil buffering is effectively you can draw to a separate buffer and then use that as a mask. So another thing that took a while is that I sort of was thinking about how portals in a lot of other games like say Portal um, is a, it's a 2D plane within a 3D environment. And that kind of gives you a nice way to sort of have a sort of there's one way in one way out kind of uh, use of the portal um, and then say even with some 2d games uh, Mario um, with a zero at the end um, was a recreation of the original Mario game but with portals um, and again those portals became 1d portals in the 2d world uh, whereas here I've kind of got like a 2d portal that you can swing around and see through in a 2D environment. Uh, it'd be kind of like trying to create a 3D sphere uh, in a 3D world as your portal. It's like, where is the actual boundary between where the portal begins and ends? Um, so I've got it where it swings around and follows you, but when you get really close, it kind of snaps and goes up. Oh, this is the edge. You can also see the uh, ship actually doesn't render in the other scene. I need to have a similar thing to teleporting where there's a, uh, there's a clone. Um, but yeah, you can see it snaps to that edge so that you can actually go through it. Um, and then it actually does a quick little lerp on the other side to be like, oh, actually, this is what it should look like. Um, it's not perfect, um, but I'm hoping with, you know, this fixed, it should look pretty smooth. I'm also thinking these might need to be bigger because I'm like, this is, this, is how, whoop, this is how big my ship is right now, and it's kind of... It's only about as wide as my ship, and I kind of want to have bigger ships. Um, nope. Kind of, I want to see if I get really close. I don't know what happens there. Oh, some shenanigans happen here. So yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing around with it. I originally didn't. I originally had my test with only one portal. Um, and as you may guess, what happens if you have a portal that can see another portal? Um, it nothing breaks, but you if if you were viewing through here and you could see another portal over here, it, you, it would just see the, the regular portal graphic. You wouldn't actually see through that portal. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that like it would be neat to be able to solve that problem, but I kind of want to keep this, I don't want to spend too much time on this. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it, it might be easier just to engineer that like no portals are ever going to be that close to each other. Um, obviously, um, See, you won't be able to see this, um, but I've just made the screen bigger. It, this, the game resizes to whatever resolution you want, so I'm like, in theory, it could be someone could make the screen big enough to see it, but that might be a problem for another time. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that was fun. 
Um, learned a bit about stencil buffers, learned a bit about trying to figure out how to spatially figure out how these portals should work. Um, if you're wondering like why the portal itself isn't cut out, um, it's because it actually is rendering the other portal on both sides. So that that's just the animation there is just lining up perfectly as it loops that um, <laughs> the active animation. Otherwise, yeah, you would see them out of sync if they weren't in sync. Um, yeah. Anyway, 2D portals. It's, uh, you know, obviously I didn't have to do the effect in order to, uh, in order to make it that ships can go between star systems, but I felt like uh, it makes it just that mo bit more interesting. And I've got ideas where I want to have it that if the portal's not open, like, Instead, it like starts off as a line and then like expands out to the to the to whatever range. Anyway, it should expand out to what it is as it opens up, and this probably shouldn't be on all the time. Also, there's a hard edge there. I kind of want to have it be like a circle around. There's a, there's definitely more things to do, but for now, I now have a relatively seamless way of moving between star systems. I'm kind of thinking it would be cool to make uh, teleporters work the same way rather than being a little spot here, have it where it's like a little arch and then have it where it's like, yeah, you just got to like maneuver your way in. But we'll see. I also still still like this effect. And there's nothing nearby. Okay. I still like this effect. So I don't want to necessarily ditch it entirely. Um, still can still get dizzy. <laughs> All right. Um, that... I also had a bit less time this weekend um, to really tackle some of the stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It at least works mostly how I want. Still needs to tidy up. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. Anyway, that's a whole thing. I feel like I could spend a whole bunch of time just discussing all my thoughts about where I think the game design should go. Because this ideally should only be a two-hour game. Um, and I've definitely spent a lot more... I didn't spend more than two hours on it, um, but I've done very little with land stuff and like, ooh, the game just crashed. Um, but anyway, the game just crashed, so clearly I need to spend more time on the land-based stuff because obviously I haven't tested it much. Boom, we're back. Um, so yeah, land-based stuff needs something to do and it needs a lot of work and I spent a lot of time in space, so anyway. That's my devlog, devlog number three. See you in the next one.